aboard, guys! We've got a train to catch! Got it! Strong work, Murray! Yeah, sure. The Murray's strength knows no limit. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Basson's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts and he walks away with the stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique hand car at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. Nobody can pass me. That there clockwork stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the varmint that's been looting my iron horse dreams. By Jiminy, I get hot neath the collar just thinking about how I cut that boy down. I'd kill him like a spotted owl. I sure would. find you here? Just can't stay away from these clockwork parts, can you? Oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on? Have to call up your little friends for help? Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. Fancy flying, little friend. 
Whatever you say, poodle. Hey, Sly! Get to that clockwork stomach fast! This old hand cart is starting to fall apart! Looks like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Then that's just what we'll do. A well-placed bomb down the train smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Not so fast! The clockwork part is mine! got an upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replace Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in. Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the Northern Lights, well, they just weren't right. 
One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Besson and his mis mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. Pathevius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Besson could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go, both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blimp. But before we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off Jean Bisson. Time is short and we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. <laughs> This 
place is bear country, all right. Interesting. He's putting out a slight radio signature. <laughs> John B. Sodden's house, the lair of the beast, the dead of evil, the epicenter of ecological destruction! Particularly old. I guess this logging camp has been around for a while. link to that boat. It must be piloted by computer. Okay, that should do it. Now for the real point of interest. Head for that lighthouse and try to find a way to sneak in. Oh, my God. 
the battery charger, but where's the battery arpeggio's coming to pick up? Just looking at that spinner makes me dizzy. I was right. The entrance is barred from the inside. Might as well get a shot of old Jean Bisson. Oh, Sly, listen in. He's mumbling to himself. Come on, Jean. You've got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. Oh! <laughs>